All right, so in this video, we're going to look at the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web. Now, a lot of people think that the internet and the World Wide Web are the same thing, but they're not. They're two different things. The World Wide Web um, is a small part of the internet. Okay, and I'm going to show you how that works. But first of all, we'll look at the internet, see what that is, and then that will help you understand what the World Wide Web is. Now the internet is made up of networks, okay, so different types of networks. Two of the most common types of networks, um, let's, put a, oh dear, let's uh, spell it right, um, made up of different types of networks. Um, two of the most common types of networks are LANs, which is local area networks, and a WAN, or WANs, uh, wide area networks. Now the internet is basically a WAN because it's lots of networks all connected together. But you know, typically you'd find a LAN in um, your house, okay, uh, maybe a school, or like a small business, okay. Um, a WAN, on the other hand, being wide, is like a large network, and they, they're usually found in, uh, what, over larger distances. So it might be a couple of LANs connected together over a wide distance, or uh, two computers connected over a wide distance. And like an example of that might be like a hospital, for example. So um, a hospital, you might have a, ho you might have a hospital, um, which has its own little LAN, okay? Well, that's, that's a house for some reason. Um, so we have a hospital, and you might have a doctor's surgery, okay, so this is your doctor's, which has a, a, a LAN as well. Now these two might be connected together via the internet because do people who go to the uh, doctors might get referred to the hospital and they share like a database. So the doctor's connected to the internet, the hospital is connected to the internet, but via the internet they are able to communicate with each other um, and form a bigger network. So they, they form a WAN over a wide area, di uh, a wide area um, and that's why they call because it's over a wide area, that's why it's called a wide area network. Okay, so this is your internet here. Okay. So, um, wide area network, local. Okay, and that gives you an idea about the kind of distance between the, the two things. So, typically, just to help you again understand what a LAN is, typically you might have in your house like a router, okay, and one part thing connected to your router might be a PC. You might have a laptop connected wirelessly. Um, so you might also, oops, you might also have a um, uh, like a mobile phone. So this is your phone, and that's connected wirelessly. Um, Again, you might have like another hardwired thing. Maybe it's your Xbox. Okay, so these things are all connected to the router in a local area. Okay, very small area. Whereas the wide area network is one LAN, another LAN, but they're connected together via the internet to make one big network. Okay, but over a, a wide distance. So looking at the internet then, what is it? Well, imagine the internet as like a, a circle, okay? The World Wide Web actually fits in, is a part of that circle, okay? So it fits in here. So part of the internet is the World Wide Web. Okay, and we access the World Wide Web usually via a web browser. Okay, um, so a web browser. Um, <coughs> other parts of the internet include things like your mail. Okay, so you can usually access your mail via web browser, but the actual sending and receiving of messages actually happens over a different part of the internet. So you can access your mail via a browser. Okay. But actually, the, the, the hardcore stuff of the mail, the, the sending and receiving and whatever, it's all done through the mail part. Other parts include things like um, uploading files. So when you do um, this file transfer protocol, so this is to do with files, okay? So 
Um, so uploading, download files. Okay. Um, and again, yes, you you might access the controls via a web browser, but the actual um, rules that govern how that works is is stored somewhere else on the internet and it uses a different part of the internet. Um, other things include um, like when you want to speak on the internet, so voice over internet, so when you're talking on your Xbox, you're using that part of the internet and so forth. And there are loads of different things on here, um, loads of different aspects, and they all make up the internet. Okay, So the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web is that the internet basically is everything it's it's the the structure of the internet and it's all the services that you get um on there and the world wide web is just a part of the internet it's a service that you receive on the internet 